Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on this episode, I'm out here at Buffalo Trace Park and I'm after a stringer full of small bass. They have a special slot limit out here and I can take bass that are less than 12 inches. So, hope we get some from the frying pan. Y'all hang in there with me. All right, there we go. I'm not getting skunked today. I'm not sure what it's gonna measure. He looks a little long. Are you freaking kidding me? My daggone measuring tape broke. Twelve to fifteen inches protected here. So anything less, anything larger, can be harvested. And that's my plan today. It'd be nice to get a limit of larger ones, but my plan is to get a limit of like ten inch bass. Be good eating. First cast my honey hole here boys yes sir come on up here to daddy oh yeah you know I'm not gonna win the uh, the Bassmaster classic here with these little bass I, mean, I guess the closer you hold it to the camera she looks like a real wall hanger but It's not about that today. We gotta get those, we gotta fill that stringer. There we go. There we go. Second cast. Get up here. Oh man, I think this one's gonna have to go back. got some size to him. The measuring tape out. My broken measuring tape. Alright, see how you measure up here, buddy. Oh, easy. Easy, fuzzy little man, Peach. Yeah, he's going to be 13 inches, so. Good fish, but not what we're looking for right now. And usually this park is just busy as all get out on the weekend especially I'm coming middle of the week it's raining got the whole lake to myself it's kind of rare you can catch them out in the middle I've done it the bite. Still have him? Yes, I do. No, no, yes, I do. Get him in. I don't think he's hooked very good. He's fighting. Fighting like a big fish. I don't think he'll measure. 
Go, that's the fourth keeper size fish here on Buffalo Trace. The slot limit. Remember anything less than 12 inches and bigger than 15 inches you can keep. I'm one fish away from getting my limit. <laughs> Pretty happy. Yeah, I couldn't get a full limit today. I'm only taking four bass home with me, which is fine. That'll be enough for a good good mess of fish. Um, Buffalo Trace is very accessible. It's located in northern Harrison County in Indiana. Got a walking path all the way around the lake. Got a boat ramp for canoes, kayaks, electric powered watercraft. They do have boat rentals. I don't know that that's up and running yet. It's still pretty early in the season. Uh, just a nice place to come. For the most part, it's clean and safe. Good place to bring the family. So we'll get these bass home, get them flayed out, and I'll check back in with you in a bit. Here we go. It's going to be a hack job, but we'll get a fillet out of it. Always start the tail. Get around, just fold my knife up that backbone. Don't worry about getting real deep at first. Cut the belly side of him. A decent little fillet. And just next you need to get the skin off of them. Some people will go ahead and scale them before they skin them. I try to take the skin off scales on it and pinch it in get your knife between the skin and the your fillet there once you get it going you can i just pull it right off there we go there might be a couple little bones in there i'll have to pick through that one get it inside getting it washed up all right got the fish cooked Deep fried it up in some beer batter. Let's have a taste. Mmm. It doesn't taste fishy or gamey at all. I'm really surprised how that came out. But thanks for watching today's episode. And remember, we're on the drive to 1,000 subscribers and we're almost there. So if you're sitting on the fence, go ahead and hit that button. We'd really appreciate it. We'll catch you next time on Hawk Outdoors.